Hi friends, in this video, we will learn how to multiply any number with 5 or 25 or 125 in just less than 2 seconds. Once you learn this method, you can use that so many times while doing a lot of academic questions, guys. So let's get started, guys. So let us say in the starting, if you know, multiply any number like 46, 106 or 27 with 5, what you should be doing. So look at the first number, guys, like this is 46. So make it half. So 46 divided by 2 is 23. And then add the 0, guys, you're done. <laughs> That's quite good, isn't it? So let us say 106. I'll divide by 2, which is 53. And then 0. As such, you can see, guys, you can do just in a second, guys, isn't it? And I'll also tell you why that method is working. Because when you're multiplying by 5, 5 is nothing else but 10 divided by 2. So what we are doing is we are dividing by 2 first and then we are multiplying by 10, basically, isn't it? There can be some little bit tricky question, guys, which we could understand a bit as well, like 27 times 5. Here, what we can see is 27, we can't divide exactly by 2. Then we've got to think about what is the number below 27, which I can exactly divide by 2. So I can take that 26. If I take 26, then I can divide by 2. So 26 divided by 2 is 13. So I can put down 1, 3. And then we can see like 27 minus 26. So 1 is left. That left over 1, I got to multiply with 5. So 1, 5 is our 5. So I got to put on 5 then. And I'm done, guys. Yeah, so let us say, now we will learn how to multiply with 25. Whenever you want to multiply any number with the 25, the first thing is, look at the number other than 2. Now we will divide by 4. So like 36 divided by 4, which is 9. And then put down two zeros at the end. Done, guys. Yeah, and that method is working because 25 is nothing else but 100 divided by 4. So what we are doing is we are dividing the number by 4 first and then we are multiplying by 100 by putting two zeros at the end. So let us say I go to 64 times 25. So 64 divided by 4. So that is going to be 16. And then I can put down two more zeros. I'm done, guys. How quicker, isn't it? So 64 times 25. If you do it in your conventional way, that's going to be very challenging. But this method just makes it so fast. Now, this is another like a tricky question, like 17 times 25. So if I want to divide 17 into 4, I can't really divide exactly. So what am I going to do is, as we did last time, I'm going to consider a number below 17, which I can divide exactly with 4. So that is going to be 16. So 16 I can divide by 4. So 16 divided by 4 is 4. So I'll put on 4. Now 17 minus 16. What is the difference? 1. So there's a 1 difference. That 1 difference I'm going to multiply with this 25. So 1 times 25 is 25, which I can put down here, guys. How cool is that? Yeah? Let us say, in case if it is 18 times 25, then what can I do? So if it is 18 times 25, I can think about a number below 18, which I can divide with 4. So that is, again, 16. And then 16 divided by 4 is going to be 4. So I can put on 4 here. And 18 minus 16 is 2. Then I can multiply 2 times 25, which is 50. So 4, 50 can be my answer, guys. Yeah? Now the bigger one, guys. Let us say you want to do like 72 times 125, which can be really challenging. But with this method, you'll find it, it's very, very easy. So here, we are not going to divide this number by 2 or 4, but we will divide this number with 8. So what is 72 divided by 8? Well, that's 9, isn't it? And then I'll put on three zeros at the end. Let us say 88. I'll divide that 88 by 8. So 88 divided by 8 is 11. Then I can put on three zeros. How quick are guys? Isn't it? The reason is because 125 is nothing else but it's a thousand divided by eight. So we are dividing by eight first 
and then we are multiplying by 1000 guys and here is a cool question like 42 multiply by 125 so as you can see 42 you cannot divide by it so you got to find a number below 42 which you can exactly divide by 8 so that is going to be 40 if i consider 40 i can divide with 8 so 8 fives are 40 so i'll put down 5 here then 42 and 40 what is the difference to whatever is the difference i'm going to multiply with 125 so 125 times 2 is 250 so my answer is simply 5250 that's cool isn't it guys yeah so so many of these tricks particularly when you're multiplying with 5 and 25 you can use while doing a lot of math guys i hope you enjoyed this and if you like it subscribe to the channel guys so you can enjoy more tricks like that all right thank you very much for watching i'll see you in the next video bye